Okay, so in this video, I want to test which is the best primer to use before plastering. So we've got some blue grit here. We've bought some PVA, and I didn't want to get any PVA. I thought we'd give PVA the best chance possible. So I bought the best PVA on the market, Seeker Bond. And we've also got my old favourite, which I use day in, day out. No brand necessarily. I use any brand, SBR, which is in this tub. And ultimately, I buy it in big tubs and then I have to transfer it into little tubs like this. That's why it's just wrote on. But anyway, we are going to see which primer holds up the best. We're going to check for suction control, but ultimately, we're going to test which one is best for adhesion. We're going to do a pull test and pull and see which one holds out. Now, there's going to be a few variations to this as well. I'm going to test PVA mixed 50-50 of water and then left to go tacky before the plaster goes on. But I'm also going to test it according to the manufacturer's specification on how they say to do it. We're going to try SBR when it's gone tacky, but I'm also going to seal and let it go off so it's completely sealed. So there's going to be two SBR tests. We're going to test the blue grit by itself, but then we've got a few other concoctions to use because I know some fellas like to mix all three of these together. So we're going to do that as well. And there's also, just because the piece that I'm testing on, this cement board, it can be cut into eight squares. We've got a square left. So we're also going to test Stuart Roberts from Trial Talk. We're going to try to test his method because he mixes SBR, PVA and cement together. So we're going to try Stuart's method. And then some guys ask me if I'll test PVA with sand to make like a PVA grit. So we're going to try that as well. We needed a background to test these different primers on. Now, I didn't want to test it on plasterboard, ultimately because you're only as strong as the paper on the plasterboard. And when we're doing the pull test to see how well it's adhered, I know that the plaster would rip the paper off the plasterboard. So ideally, we needed something that's solid. Now, I could have done this in a house, but the thing is then, we're only sticking to the last plasterer's finish and that could pull off. So in my mind, the best thing to use was cement board. One, because it's high suction, but two, because there's no layers, it's a solid piece of cement right through. So the high suction background will give us a chance to test how well these control suction, but also I'm not worried about the cement board pulling apart when we do it. Now, the other thing, what you'll know with cement board is one side's smooth and the other side has got a bit of a key to it. And it always says to tile the rough side. I don't want to give these any help. So what we're going to do is our tests on the smooth side. I'm going to cut these out of an angle grinder. So we've got our little sample pieces. The reason I'm cutting them all apart, I could have left them all in position. But when I start pull testing, and this has been pulled, 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 because they're all joined together, it wouldn't be a fair test on the last couple that have been distorted once the board has been moved around and pulled about. Okay, so we've cut the boards up. We've got eight samples to, to test. Some samples are going to get done tomorrow, but some need preparing today. So the ones that are going to get done tomorrow is SBR when it's tacky, and PVA 50-50 when it's tacky. These are the two that most, I find most plasterers do. You turn up in the morning, you paint your PVA on or you paint your SBR on, and then you skim it, okay? Now some, you have to prepare the day before. For instance, blue grit. It needs to be on for 24 hours to dry, according to the tub. So some of these are gonna get prepared today. So I'll tell you the ones that are gonna get prepared now, and we're gonna test them tomorrow. We're gonna try a a mix that Stuart Roberts recommends from Trial Talk. Never seen it done before, but it looks interesting. And we had eight squares and only seven tests. So I've added Stuart's one in to make it up to the eight. PVA, SBR and cement all mixed together. We're going to try that. 
we're going to try the magic mix that everyone goes on about where they mix blue grit pva and spr together we're going to do that one try blue grit by itself we're going to try spr when it's completely dried out and sealed from the day before we're going to try pva with sand in it because some fellas like to do that and we're also going to try pva to the manufacturer's specifications now it says on the tub that you supply a primer coat and once that's dry you then apply another stronger coat and go over it this tacky so the primer coat for the pva is going to go on today so for now i'm going to mix the pva very dilute i'm going to do four parts water to one part pva and get the first coat on and for the pva i've got a very technical measuring instrument the bottom of a uh, Lupus A bottle. So we're gonna do one part PVA to four parts water. Oh, that's thick, that. Come in, zoom in, mate. Look how thick that is. In fact, I don't want too much of this, so let's put it there. Let's mark that off so we get them all exactly the same. So that the water is exactly the same we we'll mark that off there, so we'll make sure we get the same amount. Put that in the top. Right, I'll go and get the water. Okay, this is the first very dilute coat of PVA that needs to go on today, ready for tomorrow's thicker coat. Okay, PVA manufacturer's spec. I'm gonna lay these out on the floor. Now, I'm not being shy with this, I'm gonna give it the, the fairest chance possible so it's getting blathered on. Okay, so for the next sample, we are going to do a mixture of PVA and water, 50-50, with red building sand chucked in. That's how some plasterers like to use it, a bit of red sand, so we're going to try that and see how that comes out. So there's the PVA mixture there. That's 50-50 of water. And then, put a handful of red in. Is that enough? Do we need more? Maybe put another handful and we'll give it the best chance possible. Eh? There we go. So this is like what plasters used to use as like a grit before there was such things as blue grit. Now I remember this from back in the day when my dad used to make this and we had to keep staring at it all the time because the sand settles so I'll give it the same treatment. And you can see the sand in that, can't you? There you go, that one's had a good coat of PDA with sand. Voila. Okay, so now we're going to do the blue grit sample. Because according to the instructions, um, allow to dry thoroughly before applying the plaster, usually six hours minimum. So this is going to have about 24 hours, so it'll be a, a good fair test. Now, some guys apply this to a roller because you want to make sure there's plenty of grit presence you can't spread this quite thin and there not be enough grit but again i want this to be a really fair test so i'm going to make sure that there's loads and loads of grit if you see here look see i've brushed this section here and there's not much grit present there well that's not how it's going to be we're going to make sure there's plenty of grit in there Neat SPR, no specific brand, I'll use any brand, it doesn't really matter. And this is going to be the SPR that is sealed and left to dry.
Yeah, it'll go count. Now, don't worry. These are all labelled up on the back, so we know which is which. Okay, for this one, we're going to use Blue Grit, PVA and SBR all mixed together. I'm going to make sure they're all equal parts by using my little special measuring tool here. There we go, that's up to the line. There's oh, one up to the line. Put that in. So some SBR. SBR. And now we need some PVA as well. Ugh, it's going everywhere. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> it's not coming out fast enough. There we go. PVA. Look at the state of that. Let's put that out the way down there. Now, we'll mix all these together for a magic mix. So when I first started using SBR, this is how I'd use it, because I didn't know if it would stick plaster by itself. And I wanted it to, so you could see where you've been, so this is the, the mix I first started off with. And I know a lot of fellas still do this, and we all seem to have come to it by our own sort of initiative. I only ended up using SBR because I didn't have any blue grit or PVA to mix with it one day. So we'll just give it a chance and it worked. And I've been doing it ever since for the last eight years or so. Now the grit isn't going to be as gritty as what it was. And the blue grit one because it's a less concentrated mix of it. But all the same, it's going to have a bit of grit in it as well. Okay, and for our last sample board, we are going to try PVA, SBR and cement all mixed together. So we're going to do equal parts PVA and SBR. No, cement. Okay, and for the cement portion, I hope Stuart approves, we're going to use some blue circle Master Creek cement. Uh, I'll just put a little tiny hand for him. Maybe a little bit more than that. Is that okay, Stu? Is that what you'd recommend? Let's see. We'll mix that up. Into a nice paste. Let's get it on. Look at that. Well, you can definitely see where you're going with this. You're not going to miss a bit, are you? Now, Stu said that this dries dead fast. And I think he's right because it seems to be pulling in already. Right, are we happy with that? Okay guys, so that's it for the first part. All these samples need to all dry, ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll have PVA 50-50 when it's still tacky and SBR when it's still tacky. And we'll see you in 24 hours. The next day. Right, now... We are going to get these set up, we're going to get the PVA 50-50 of water and the SBR. We're going to paint these now with the two different types of sealer. We're going to give them about 10, 15, 20 minutes to start going tacky. And as soon as they start going tacky, 
we're going to mix up some plaster and we're going to plaster all the sample boards so they all get done at the same time with the same mix. We're going to embed some rendering mesh in them because this is what we're going to do the pull test on. Scrim might tear, so we're going to use this because it's slightly stronger. This is going to be measured out to exactly the same length for every single sample board so that every single board has got exactly the same amount of mesh embedded in the plaster to make it as fair as possible. And then, once it's all set and dried, we're going to let it all dry as well, then we're going to start pulling and see which one holds the best. Now, in the meantime, whilst it's starting to go off, I'm also going to keep touch testing all of them and see which ones is controlling the suction better. Okay, so this is the board that is going to have SBR when it's just gone tacky. So that's going to get coated now. So the other SBR is going to have, well, it's already been sealed, you know, it's already had a chance to seal and completely go off um, overnight. There's our SBR that's just gone on today. So that'll be getting skimmed shortly. Now, also with the PVA, this is the one that's going to have PVA, 50-50, gone tacky, like when most plasters turn up in the morning and paint PVA on and then skim it the same day. This is going to be the same type of sample. But we've also got the PVA where we're following the manufacturer's specification and the manufacturer's spec is that you put a primer coat, a weak primer coat of PVA on first, which it's already had, and now it's going to have also a coat of 50-50 PVA. Um, as soon as they both go tacky, we're going to plaster over both of those. So that's going to go on now. Right, whilst we give those chance to start going tacky, we're going to cut some mesh to exactly the same sizes now. Right, here's all our pieces of mesh. All exactly the same, all equal sizes. And what I've done, you'll notice, if you look at all of them, they've all got two black lines drawn on them. Now, the way this is going to work is, I've got to make a little loop that we can attach and pull on, and I've got to keep some mesh embedded. And to make sure they're all exactly the same and they all get the equal amount of mesh embedded, I've drawn little lines in exactly the same place on all of them, and it'll work like this. The mesh will go onto the sample board, and it'll get plastered up to the black line and no further and that way then they all have an equal amount of mesh embedded in the sample board okay so we've got all our boards ready now this is the pva to the manufacturer's specification pva 5050 that's tacky it's just gone on today we've got the sbr that's tacky it's just gone on today we've got the sbr that's sealed from the day before we've got the blue grit We've got the blue grit PVA and SBR combination. We've got the PVA and sand, and we've got the PVA, SBR, and cement. So we will start mixing now because these boards, that is just going tacky now. PVA is just yeah, it's starting to stick to my fingers now. So we'll get these done now. Right, so now we're going to start bedding them in with the plastic. Now that's all the sample boards all coated up and waiting. Now we'll just check them a couple of times every 15 20 minutes or so and just see which one's pulling in. I'll make a little um, make a little chart and, uh, and and say which one's pulling in the fastest so we know um, which sealer is controlling the suction the best. Okay, so I'm just giving these a little trial to make sure they're all the same thickness. And I'll tell you something interesting. Up to now the the PVA following the manufacturer's specifications stay quite wet 
the PVA that we've just put on Let's Go Tacky now, this is already, look, it's already tearing. See here, if it, it's already sucking in. The SBR, we haven't touched this one yet, the SBR that was done this morning, still quite, quite wet. And I'm just doing this to make sure that all the plaster is all like an even sort of thickness on all of them to make sure it's a fair test. The SBR that went on this morning is still, oh, excuse me, I'm snagging them, so I'm ruining the test, I'm snagging the fucking stuff. There we go, I'll bet that's bedded back in. That's still wet. The SBR from the day before... That's still wet. Blue grit. Wow, absolutely soaking. The blue grit seems to be holding back the suction really well, to be fair. The blue grit with the PVA and the SBR. That's still soaking as well. Up to now, it only seems to be the PVA that's pulling in. Let's just check, there's two more. Let's just see how these are holding up. The PVA of the sand. PVA of the sand. Again, still fairly wet. And the PVA, SBR and cement mixture. Wow, that's still really wet as well. Okay. It's like still shiny on the surface. That seems to be saying the wettest. So up to now, I'd say the only one that's sort of struggling with suction so far is the PVA that's just gone on this morning. That is, I mean, that's starting to get, you know, it's not even sticking to your fingers now. That's look at look at this PVA fifty fifty. Let me show you a comparison. PVA fifty fifty, not sticking to your fingers, right? Let's come over here. PVA, SBR and cement. Look at that. Soaking wet. Okay, come in close. Come over here a second, right? Let me show you something interesting. The PVA, according to the manufacturer's recommendations, has basically gone off. Now, it's been nearly an hour. It's 20 past now. The PVA done 50-50. That's gone even more. I can rub that. So, the manufacturer's spec is... You can still make an imprint in it, yeah? But the one done the same day, that's basically gone. The SBR that we did when it's tacky, we can still make an imprint in that. That's still fairly soft. But, you know, it is it is going off. The SBR done the day before, that seems to have gone off. Which is bizarre. I wouldn't have thought that would happen. So it seems that putting the SBR on going over the tacky seems to keep it wetter. Strangely enough. Now, here's what's interesting. The blue grit is still wet. Sorry, I'm going to have to smooth that over again now because we need that. We need that on there. The, look, the, 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 the blue grit is literally, you can still trial it up. The blue grit with PVA and SBR is the same. That's still wet. The PVA with sand, that's gone off. And the PVA with SBR and cement, again, that's very similar to the blue grit. This stuff is still fairly wet. So up to now, suction control is controlled best by blue grit, blue grit PVA and SBR and PVA, SBR and cement. They seem to be the wettest. And then behind them, soon behind them, is the SBR that's still tacky. Right. Look at this. PVA, manufacturer's spec, yeah, basically gone. PVA 50-50, done the same day, gone. SBR, when it's still tacky, yeah, we can still squidge it a little tiny bit. That's basically gone off. SBR done the day before, whether this went on dead thin, but look, here's the thickest bit up here, but it's still a little bit squidgy. I would say the SBRs are sort of, the tacky one on the same day one are sort of behaving the same. The PVA with sand in it, 
that also is still a little bit squidgy okay here's what's interesting here's what here's what i find interesting the pva the blue grit and the spr is still it's still wet right the pva spr and cement is basically still wet the blue grit i would say it's almost still tacky for suction control blue grit which is surprising to me seems to be the best for controlling suction now whether that's because it's got grit in it and ultimately the stuff has gone thicker but i'm, I'm honestly I'm, I'm secretively a little bit gutted because i wanted the spr to win but look you can see it's almost dried out the suction has almost dried it out whereas with this you know that's still wet suction control blue grit's your winner blue grit is the best for controlling suction now just to show you as well that it is actually the suction that's doing this it's the plaster isn't just setting naturally there's no sort of um there's no sort of external forces making that go off. It's only through the suction. This is the bucket of stuff that we mixed up. And it's been basically um, just under an hour now. And look, you can see the plaster is basically... It's, I don't know why I'm doing it with my finger. That was very stupid. I mean, never, ever do that. But basically, you can see the plaster is still... I mean, you wouldn't want to spread it, but it's still wet, isn't it? You can see that, you know? Okay, all samples now are fully set. So, we'll let them dry out, and once they're dry, we'll do the pull test. So let me talk you through what we've got. We've got the scrim, and hooked through the scrim, I've got a little G-clamp to give it even sort of pressure across the scrim. From that, we go up to the scale that will measure up to 50 kilograms. The scale is attached to a bar, which sits on an axle stand, which pins the board down, and on the other side goes onto a jack. Now, there's a little there's a little knob on top of the jack there, and I've cut out in the metal bar so it slots on top of there. And this G clamp here is because that axle stands on the lowest. It's just to stop the um, the, the 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 scale sliding down any further. So, now you know what the setup is, I'm going to turn on the scale and then start increasing the pressure on the jack. And we're going to film it and see what the reading is before the scrim tears out. So, let's get started. Okay, first up is a PVA with sand and the scale has been set to zero. Let's begin. I think I'll be able to do this finger tight. Okay, 0.5 kilograms at the minute. Let's see, 0.5, that's just the weight of it taking the strain on the scrim. Here we go now. And that was the exact moment when I realised that it wasn't working as I intended it to. Why isn't that, let me just... Yep, all the tweaking in the world, Kirk, it ain't going to work. So, back to the drawing board, back to Amazon, and we continue this tomorrow. Okay, so we've had a little issue, and we've had to stop the test. I'll show you why. Come round here, ladies. So, this was the setup I had. And as you can see, I had the little tripod filming everything. But what we found was, when we put this under tension, this stopped reading. If I didn't continuously pull... It'll stop reading. Because it's a fishing scale, it'll sort of take a weight and then it'll just lock. The screen will lock and you can keep pulling, but it's sort of locked on. So that ultimately was no good. That this is taking me a little bit longer than I hoped. But anyway, let's just see. We've just had a delivery today. Here we go. Right. Here's the scales. There's some decent sized hooks as well, don't you think? I can see already by the size of this. 
I'm going to have to alter the setup a little bit. Let's see what's in this box as well whilst we're here. There's been another parcel arrived. Oh! Oh! You're going to like this. So you know the yellow scrim that I use? And I said I couldn't tell you what it was. Well now you're going to find out. This is it now. Easy scrim by Easy Mix. But the same fella that brings these to you. It's like a little goodie box this. <laughs> the same fella that brings these. Now. Does scrim. And uh, I've been using this for a while. I've been testing it for him. Let me tell you. This stuff's fantastic. Right, I'm not even joking to be fair. <laughs> The scrim is absolutely amazing. I've tried it for a little while. I'm not sponsored, by the way, by Easy Scrim or anything like that. He's just a fellow I know, but his products are fantastic. So if you fancy buying some of that, the link for that is in the description of this video. But anyway, on with the test. On with the test. PVA with sand. Let's see what it can take. Can so just stop one minute. Just stop one minute. Oh, it's holding about... It's, well, it's just under it's about it's holding about it's nine like kilograms. Can I get it up to ten? Oh, oh! Look at that! Look at him go! <laughs> Where did that get to? I think that was about fourteen. Okay, so you can hear two other little voices in the background, not just me. That's uh, that's my brother and his missus. They've come round because our Craig wanted to see how the test was going on, and they've sort of come to make sure it stays fair as well. So <laughs> it's quite good to both there, really. It gets to about thirteen, doesn't yeah. it? To be fair, that was fourteen. Then I'm going to say. Oh. SBR, PVA, and cement mixed together. Oh, 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 <laughs> wow. Okay, blue grit, PVA, and SBR. Mixed together. Blue grip. Left to dry overnight. SBR done the day before. Twelve. Oh, twelve kilograms. PVA fifty fifty tacky applied the same day. Four kilograms. Oh, wow. PVA applied the same day gets to just four kilograms before it just completely sheets off. Wow. Okay, SBR applied the same day, left to go tacky. <laughs> 
10, 11, oh, it gets to 11, that's it though, 12, 12 kilograms, <laughs> look at that, it's just holding it at 10, okay, I'm quite impressed with that. For the same day, that works quite well. Just out of interest, I'm just trying to rip this out, and it's it's amazing that it's actually getting. Oh, it was like twenty kilograms. <laughs> okay, so what do the results tell us? We've done the tests. What do the results say? When it comes to suction control, if you can go in one day and prepare the job and come back the next day and skim it, this is the best way of controlling suction. Without a doubt, hands down, surprising to me. <laughs> but the results don't lie. The best way to control suction, if you've got the time, is to apply blue grit. Blue grit seems to be hands down the winner of controlling suction. Soon following after Blue Grit is a mixture of SBR, cement, and PVA glue. Those three things mixed together work almost as well as Blue Grit, but you've got to apply it the day before. Soon after that is a magic concoction that I think a lot of plasterers use, and that is a mixture of SBR, PVA, and Blue Grit all together. That seems to do a fantastic job at controlling suction. Now, the fourth best thing for controlling suction is SBR applied the same day when it's still tacky, just by itself, just neat SBR. Followed again closely by a mixture of PVA glue, 50-50 of water and red building sand. Now this is surprising to me because that works better than the next one on the list which is SBR the day before, which in my mind completely seals the background. But PVA with sand mixing it held the suction back better. You've seen it, you've seen the results, you've seen the test. Now, after that, seems to be the worst too, unfortunately. PVA applied to the manufacturer's spec. So a watered down coat the day before, left a soaking and dry and on a thicker coat on the day, allowed to go tacky, that comes in next. Not the greatest at all. It's sort of like second to last. And then last is PVA mixed with water applied the same day. So if you've got the time to do it the day before and you want to completely kill the suction off, use blue grit. If you turn up on the day, you've got a choice of two options. PVA, Apply the same day, let it go tacky. Most plasterers do this. That is the worst way of controlling suction. And the best way for the same day application is SBR allows us to pick up and go tacky and apply the same day. That actually comes fourth out of all of them. So SBR is the clear winner if you're going to do it the same day. If you're going to do it the next day, then blue grit. Right, let's get to the, the pull test results and work out which is the best for adhesion. Okay, let's look at which product is the best for gluing plaster to the background, on a high suction background anyway. Let's start off with the worst. The weakest product to use is PVA, applied the same day when it's still tacky. That could only hold four kilograms, followed Soon after, the second weakest product to use is PVA according to the manufacturer's specifications, which is seven kilograms. Soon after that was a mixture of blue grit, PVA and SBR mixed together. That only held 11 kilograms. What is it only? That, that's enough. I mean, to be fair, if it holds one kilogram, it's not going to fall down. <laughs> if it holds one kilogram for the, the square area that we measured, the plaster itself weighs 
less than half a kilogram. So the fact that PVA holds four, it's holding like eight times its own weight. It's not going to fall off. Let's just be straight on that. It's going to fall off. So just PVA alone is fine, but we're just going in order of strength. Okay. Now, dual place with PVA, um, SBR and blue grit is blue grit alone. Just blue grit alone managed to hold 11 kilograms. Now, here's a surprising one. SBR applied the day before. So the background is completely sealed. SBR is like almost waterproof. I thought it dries like a sheet of glass. SBR applied the day before holds 12 kilograms. It's stronger than blue grit. SBR applied when it is still tacky. Holds the same weight. That lasted out 12 kilograms. Here's a surprising one. <laughs> PVA mixed 50-50 of water and red sand applied like a grit in the PVA held 14 kilograms. And the winner the strongest, the strongest primer for holding weight is a mixture of SBR, PVA and cement. Ultimately, that held back 16 kilograms. Now, do I think those results are a little bit biased? Here's my conclusion. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Let me find the PVA. The PVA applied 50-50 done the same day. When that went off, look, it literally pulled the stuff off a background. Okay? It's gone. Now, I think that that's happened because the PVA didn't control the suction very well. Hence, the plastic has dried out too fast and it hasn't adhered. So that's why I believe that that has happened. Now, every single product past that, let me find uh, PVA to the, there we go. PVA to the manufacturer's specification. Okay, this is the second weakest one, but look, note, yes, it's pulled a lot of the plaster off, but a lot of it is still stuck and the scrim has ripped out of the plaster. So if you follow the manufacturer's specifications, the plaster is still adhered to the background. It's, it's, it's the actual strength of the plaster that has failed. Now, yes, it would have been stronger if it had longer to set. So if the suction was controlled better, it would have been a stronger plaster. But ultimately, the plaster hasn't fell off the background. And all of those, all the test samples after that, I mean, look at the strongest one. Here's the strongest one, the mixture of cement, SBR and PVA. The plaster just has not come off the background, it is still stuck. It's, it's not a case of the plaster is pulling away from the background, it's more of a case of the scrim is pulling out of the plaster. The plaster is still stuck. All of the other sample boards are like that. So ultimately, I would say it doesn't really matter which seal you use they all stay stuck to the background the only one that has failed is pva and i believe that's because it didn't control the suction that well so the end product the plaster has dried weaker and not a beard interesting tester surprising results hope you enjoyed it see you on the next one